It is a bittersweet day here at WBTV after 32 years. Our David Wisnett, our veteran reporter, is retiring. Yeah, we all love David. We know you do too. He's a fan of the QC Life shows, right? So we couldn't let this day go by without checking in with him. Hi, buddy. How you doing? Where are you? That's beautiful. I'm in downtown Salisbury. It is a place called Tita's, and they make the best cakes and desserts that you've ever had. And they were kind enough to let me come in here because it's too cold outside to stand around. Yeah. That doesn't surprise me they let you come in, David, because I think everybody in Salisbury and surrounding areas has been coming up to you and talking to you and your wife and your family over the last several weeks. What has it been like to get this response from the community that you've served for 32 years? It's been a pretty nice farewell tour, I will admit, because, you know, for a lot of years, you really wonder, you kind of wonder if you're, if what you're doing is making a difference, and, and you really wonder about that, but in the last two and a half, three weeks, I feel like everything's been validated, that, that this has been exactly, I, I've been doing exactly what God wanted me to do, and using the gifts I have to try to, to help folks as much as I could, and have fun along the way, and I, it's just been very validating, and it's made me feel great. Well, we're so glad for that. We want you to feel all of that because we just all adore you so much. Um, we showed that clip just a few seconds ago of you doing your uh, WBTV family recipe here in our QC kitchen. That is one of our favorite moments with you here, but we have lots of favorite moments of you here. When we told you you were going to have to come in and cook, David, what did you, what did you think? I, I don't know. I, I tried to, I was thinking, I can't cook. I can barely make a ham sandwich without <laughs> messing it up. But I, I, I don't know if it was going to be on your show. I knew it was going to be fun. So, of course, I was going to do it. I knew I could get my wife to figure it out and, and get me through doing that. So, of course, I'm going to do it. And was it fun? Did it turn out to be fun? Yes, it was great. It was great fun. I, I mean, I loved it. And, the, you know, I got a lot of nice comments from people who, made chess pie as a result. So I felt like I was able to sort of expand the community of chess pie throughout <laughs> the Carolinas. That made me happy. It was good pie. Wiz, do you remember when producer Heidi also made you try those terrible candy canes that same day? Do you remember that? Yes. <laughs> yes. It seemed like one of them wasn't like one of them wasn't bad, but the rest of them were just awful. Awful. Maybe. Awful. Absolutely awful. You can't see yeah. uh, David right now, but on the bottom of uh, the screen People are weighing in with their comments for you. People, Cynthia in Charlotte says congratulations on your retirement. Um, folks are just really uh, happy for you. Vicki says uh, thank you, David, for being you. Love you. She's in Morganton. Uh, that is an area that you've covered a lot, too. Uh, I know this feels like a weird day for you, and we're going to be celebrating you all day in all shows, um, so prepare thyself. Uh, but you'll be in here and in the studio in a little bit. Um, even though it's weird, you said it feels right. Tell everybody at home just a little bit about the story that you're going to do today as your last story for WBTV, because I know it's important to you. Well, I, I, I'll be honest with you. Our, our news director came to me and said, it's your last day. You can do any story you want to do. And, you know, the first thing that went through my head was, oh, fun. I can go to the Speedway or I can, you know, that sort of thing. And, and then it just hit me that, you know, I have a responsibility here and I have one more chance today to be in front of a very large number of people on WBTV and if I have that chance I can't blow it on something trivial I have to talk about mental health suicide and encouraging people don't do it that's been a message that I've I've been on for years now um, following my dad's suicide and WBTV and WBT radio were so kind to give me the platform that made me for the first time come out of the shadows and talk about it. That was the first time I had ever spoken publicly about it. And now I do that regularly. I hate it. I wish that I didn't have that to talk about, but I do. And so I feel like that's my responsibility. And if I've got one more chance to get in front of a large group of folks and say something that's on my heart, that's what it's going to be, is to take care of yourself. That is such an important message, David. I know it is so an Im important to you. I've, you and I have talked, we've talked here, I lost my niece to suicide. It is very, very uh, difficult to talk about. The fact that you do it helps families and it helps save lives. So we are grateful for that. You have helped so well, many again, people. It's, that's not just me, but that's, that's WBTV giving us a platform to do it. And, and I'm just the vessel that does it, but I, I have to. 
Wiz, you're a beautiful vessel, and thank you for doing it for the last 32 years. We love you. We'll be right back after this.